we just had something happen on the Pulse YouTube channel. It's the first sort of real piece of, of censorship we've experienced with the Pulse, where yesterday I, I produced a piece of content um, that was a, a, an observational commentary on uh, a Dr. Christina Parks, who was a doctor speaking at a, uh, a hearing about a bill that was to mandate vaccines in Michigan. And, you know, she was there as an expert witness providing a testimony, essentially saying, look, here's as a PhD who's been studying this stuff right here in Michigan for a long time, here are my concerns with the vaccinations and blah, blah, blah. And I don't think it's, I don't like, I think vaccines are important, but I think we need to be careful about what we're doing. All I did was play a couple of small clips from her, her piece. And then I followed it up saying, here is the local, how the local news covered what happened at this hearing. And of course the local news basically said, well, you know, she's a conspiracy theorist. Everything she said has been debunked. They didn't address any of her claims. They basically made everybody sound crazy. But the one politician who was saying we need vaccines, they, they big that guy up as like a hero. And so all I said was here we have a PhD and we're not willing to listen. We're just saying she's bad. Right. And so I was asking, how are we as a society in, in this video, how are we as a society supposed to make sense of anything when we're just saying this expert over here, we can't listen to them. So nowhere did I make any claims. Nowhere did I say, you know, she was right or wrong or anything like that. It was a philosophical conversation about how we make meaning of information. The, and, and they deleted it, saying that I was spreading medical misinformation. And he's like, OK, maybe it was a mistake. It got caught up in a bot. Right. So I, I appealed and in the appeal, they said, no, this is this is medical misinformation. And I'm thinking to myself, how is it possible that a neutral journalistic approach to asking philosophical questions about the state of our media and the state of science, which I backed up with mainstream science uh, websites who also feel the same way? How is it that this is deleted for medical misinformation? It's it's the landscape has become insane and as you mentioned earlier on the desperation is so obvious right like this is pure desperation